Greetings once again fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel welcoming you to another episode of Kona and uh, we're in the, uh, which house are we in actually? Beaupre? I can't remember, let's have a little look at the map. Bedar, there we go, uh, and I've just found the document that we need to know where we need to put our little, uh, we've got a sort of a rigged, what have we got in our inventory, is it in here? A magnet with a wire attached to it which we could use to get hold of a key. Now. I found the document in, in in question, which is Marie's diary, which I think was uh, Marie Bedard, and she was talking about Martin 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 Blay, uh, and so that's the house that we need to go to because apparently the key is for his dad's shed. Uh, the Blay house is that one over there. Right, so we haven't actually been there yet, so we're doing this in the correct order. Uh, we've got the scooter there and presumably the truck as well. And we're going to try taking the scooter today. Uh, the scooter. I know what I mean. We're going to try taking the snowmobile today because it's going to be more useful, I think, um, than being able to, well, to go across, uh, across, uh, well, across country so uh, we're going to give that a go so before we do this let me just have a look at the map again so we're going to go uh, left out here we're going to go up over the river and we're going to tr this time we're going to stop on the left hand side so we've checked out cabins and the shacks at the logging place and we're going to go to the Blay household where we could hopefully dangle this key down uh, down a burrow to retrieve d the magnet down a burrow to retrieve a key I know what I'm talking about thousands wouldn't all right, here we go. So, and we're still looking for the ingredients for caribou so we can get the coat off Roser as well. Okay, this is not going to be as fast as uh, the, the truck, which is probably just as well, quite frankly, because if it was, I'd just crash it into a tree, because that's what I normally do. Quite like the uh, sight of the snow sort of ploughing up from the, the ski tracks though, that's quite cool. Here we go, this must be it here. I do find the snowmobile a lot easier to handle actually. Probably partly because it goes quite a bit slower. But it is designed for use in the snow. Here we go, there's a tyre swing here as well, Blade House. There we go. I like the way the tyre swing is, well, swinging. And there's the shed. Well, we're going to go into the house first, I think. A it's... wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. Well, yeah. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Okay, so... It was gonna... so cold, already Carl <laughs> did not feel his toes anymore. Yeah, we know. We're going inside first, okay. And then we'll see if we can set a fire. The coals oh, were no. still warm. Someone must have been stirring them up. Okay, let's see if we can find something. There's the a key, key. Which seemed to be meant for a padlock. More an inscription reading Cloutier et Fis. Hmm, a company name. It's not Fis. Better keep an eye open. It's Fis. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. Maybe it's pronounced differently if you're Canadian. I have no idea. Uh, okay, so let's see. We need some matches, uh, and that isn't matches. Before I do anything else, really, 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 I need some fire starting equipment, and I'm not sure if I can get any. Inspect. Furniture has been moved. Well, isn't that normal, really? Oh, for goodness sakes, we're dying of cold here, and there's just no way of getting anything. Usually, there are matches or something near to... Attach wire. No thanks. We don't need to do that. No. Yeah, usually you find some kind of fire starting equipment near to fires, but someone ran out of time packing luggage. Yes, it does look a bit that way. What is this? Money in a jar. What a shame. No Carl would have loved cookies. Ha. Huh. This man never eats. Okay. Nothing in there. Okay, I have no idea, so I'm pretty sure we don't have any matches in our, um, let's just take a look a at that. A pay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Okay. Alexander Blair felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. 
can't get over the way he pronounces Cloutier et Fis. Fis? Fis? Right, uh, I don't... This house is quite similar to one of the other ones we've been in. Uh, that said... Well, there's no light in here. We're going to end up dying here at the moment. This is the trouble with taking the snowmobile instead of the... Uh, instead of the... I haven't even shut the door properly. Move furniture. There we go. My sweet Marie, please excuse my handwriting. I'm in a hurry. I have to leave for North Manston with Mum and Mrs. Royce. This is from Martin then. As they say, it's far too dangerous around here these days. I don't know much about what's going on because Mum won't tell me anything in an attempt to reassure me. But all I know, she has the exact same expression on her face as when I startle her. Dad and Mr. Roy aren't coming because they have to gone to get Mr. Lachance. They're real heroes. My grandmother lives in a big house in North Matniston, you'd be welcome there. I must go now, quite literally, your friend Martin. Okay, right. Uh-huh. So, they, they they quit town as well. Let me see if I can get a light switch in here. The bulb is burned out. Of course it is. Well, in that case, let's use this. Open. Well, there's nothing in there. Or there. Now, that is fire starter. But we're still... In need of ah, there we go. No, we can't burn that article. Unsolvable accident over the last few days. A lack of resources forced a death investigation of Pierre Blay to come to a halt. Death. The autopsy of the body conducted over the last few weeks didn't reveal any clue that could have helped the investigators who refused to comment on what would happen next. This new development is happening in the context of the hypothesis of an accident which is still, in spite of scepticism expressed by the local population, the ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities. The incident is said to have occurred in the forest surrounding Lake Atamipec. Pierre Blay was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon-to-be-restarted copper mine. Blay, an engineer by training who was working on behalf of the consortium headed by William Hamilton, was reported in charge of development plans surrounding the reopening of the mine. First police disclosed the body had been dis desecrated today. The official version was it partly devoured by beasts, hence the original assumption a crime had been committed. So, sounds like they might have changed their story to me. Um, all right. Can't open those curtains to just... Is there anything there? There's a... Bit of reading to okay so it's not something we need to look at then i don't need the map okay we cannot find anything to light a fire with here I, oh logs i'm lacking logs that's all i'm lacking well I'm, i should have one of those in uh should have one of those in our inventory or there should be some out here on the porch or something it often is i can't remember where we left it there may also of course be some around the yard somewhere too like near the shed perhaps not there often is but not quite not here there isn't right let's get over here and get one out of here withdraw log one will do thank you now let's go clearly these houses are not ever so warm without a stove lit which makes sense there we go and saving Oof! and we get our heat back up again as well so we've probably got a few other things around here that we need to uh inspect as well there's a boot outside and we haven't been up to oh look i remember these spirographs the spirograph amused carl it was a nice modern toy Aside from being repetitive time. by nature and completely useless, still, it found its way into many Quebecois homes. Yeah, I would say it's completely useless. You could make some really quite pretty patterns with it, so unless you're of the opinion that art is useless. Uh, right, there's nothing else we can open here. We could open these. Let's have a little look. We're probably not going to find anything. Oh, looky, cigarettes. You know, I keep trying to get him to give up, but uh, he does like his cigarettes. Okay. Nothing in there either. There's a football card, which uh, isn't going to help us very much. There's some paper down the back of the stove, but I don't think that we can use that. And I think we've looked in here, haven't we? Yes, we have. Now, here, there's somebody else. Yes, yeah, someone definitely likes their football cards. I think they've scattered those on their way out. That would be Martin, I imagine, who's collecting those. Wow, look at that cake. Rolling stones! Ah, I see. All right, let's see. And Joe. Oh, it's him again. Joe Dassin. 
All right. Some 70s pop star, no doubt. Before my time. Okay, let's go up here. Gosh, this is rough looking. It's got snow coming in through the window. A window left open in that weather? Perhaps yeah. something had to be watched. Yeah, but surely you could watch it through a closed window, right? This must be where Martin had his bedroom. Sock drawer. And that is... Le Monstre! Oh my goodness! So Martin had seen the monster then, and he's drawn it as some sort of uh, big, tall thing with wolves following it, and it's got blue glowing eyes. That is interesting. Okay. Right, so maybe he knew something. I don't know. It looks like he's seen something like the monster. Impossible creation from mechanical drawing toy. Yet yeah, another one of those. Right, I've seen a couple of those. The sheets were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening, followed by a hurried escape. What had so happened here? They left in the middle of the night, perhaps. Maybe they saw the monster approaching. But, uh, okay. There's quite a lot of snow on here. It's blown in through the window. Uh, and obviously, they wouldn't necessarily, they wouldn't have necessarily been this weather when they left either. Turn off the TV. No point with it leaving it on. Some cigarettes, a tormented mind smoking bed. I wouldn't know. This must be the parents' room. Oh, we have some something here. Louise's diary. Fear the worst for Alexander, he hardly gets any sleep. So he was tormented. I thought it was work. Seems to be far worse than that from Dust Till Dawn. He stares into the void, barely speaks to me. Someone asked him to play the play ball and he didn't say a word uh, that way he has to glance at the window last night I heard him mumbling in sleep he's coming, he's talking about the m monster then I don't know why but those words left a deep impression on me, he woke up shortly after covered in sweat, couldn't remember his dream he didn't get back to sleep after that chain smoking the night away over the window told me to pack the things in the morning does he himself know we're waiting for what I think I feel dread Right, so the people around here seem to think, seem to know that something was coming. And I don't know whether it's a, an old sort of uh, legend or what. Okay, there's nothing particularly in there to help us out, I don't think. Let's just make sure that there's, I like the floral prints around here. And another partly furnished suitcase, or pa partly packed suitcase. That's it, I think we've searched everything in here unless there's something really well hidden crap what's that that certainly wasn't me so what maybe I should sneak which means turning this off what just happened down here there's a wolf in the house. Cack. It's recommended you lose a flashlight or lantern. Not when there's a wolf blocking my way. <clears throat> Eating out of a can. Right, so we have to get out of here somehow. I don't suppose I can climb out that window, can I? Let's have the light again. Can I climb out this window? I cannot. I can only inspect it. Aye. So, we're going to have to have a look then. Let's me look at my inventory. Equipment. We do have a stake. And we may have to throw the stake to get the wolf to leave us alone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no, it's not gone. It's there. Oh, gosh. I'm going to die. Oh no, it's run. It's run away. With the can stuck on its face. Wow, it's really rifled the place. It's been in the fridge and everything. Okay, let's 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 put away that steak. And grab that one as well, shall we? There we go. What are these? Beer bottles. Okay, I think we might need beer bottles for 
making the moon shine with but we still haven't found any actual booze to make the moon shine with either so the picture had been taken inside the house same it was the same paper. wallpaper yes, judging by the smiles it is. nobody suspected the impending misfortunes little martin blay with his uncle pierre yeah. There was a deep sense of bonding and pride coming out of the picture. Carl felt sorry for the man. No one deserved such a cruel fate. He was the one who was found dead for no particular reason. Okay, so that's it then. We've got We've got what we came for, I think. There's uh, there's nothing else here, I don't think. We've had a look in the bathroom, haven't we? There's no Nothing in here that we've missed, I don't believe. I think we looked in here. We were looking for matches and didn't really find any. So unless there's something in these overhead cupboards, I'll have to shut that first because I can't get... No, close it. Close. Oh. Okay. Nothing in that one. Or that one. Yeah, no, not that. This. Now that I do want, but I can't get to it because of all this lot. There. And that's painkillers. Okay, fine. Right, there we are. Right, so now, what I think we need to do, we need to go head for the shed, don't we? I don't suppose for a moment that the phone is going to do anything other than be completely silent, is it? So, we go for the shed with our magnet on a wire. And there's a burrow, according to Marie's diary, there is a burrow near the shed there it is oh um, we need to get the key a from there key. what could it be for we know it's the garden the shed. shed carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone but he had more than a few tricks up his sleeve to pick it up narrator you're way behind we've already got it right now what is this flares how appropriate in the 70s let's see if there's anything else what is this? Chainsaw doesn't work. Hmm, lovely fire starters. Yes, we definitely need those. There's beer bottles there, but we already have some. Oh, a gas can. Aha, nice. Okay, that could be useful too. Um, I think we've got everything from this side. What's down there? Nothing on the top. All right, let's have a look in these drawers. An ashtray, well that's really useful. What's that? Some hardware. And nothing. Okay. There we are. So that's that. Okay, I think we might have got everything from here. Unless there's something hiding above our heads or something. The chainsaw doesn't work. Yeah. But I don't think there's any way we can get it to work either. Alright, so... That's the shed. We can get in the shed. We haven't found anything much in there. It sort of seems, after all that, really, that we should have more in here to find, doesn't it? Really. But I don't see anything else at all. Hmm. How strange. There's nothing hiding behind that metal corrugation. No. No, I do not know. There is nothing there. Right, we're going to have a bit of a look around the back of the house just to make sure that we're not missing anything here because we still haven't found any uh, ingredients for yep we'll have one of those please Ooh, and then fall over backwards for some reason we still haven't found any uh, ingredients for the the moonshine and because we're on the snowmobile and the snowmobile does not warm us up we're going to have to uh, go back into the house to save and warm up before we move on so head back for the side of the, of the stove now let's have a look at this so here we are at the Blay household uh, we've pretty much done the entire of this area here apart from a few wolf tracks which we haven't followed because we're probably going to suffer from the cold um, before we've got the coat from the old Rosea's place so we're going to need to follow the road, road the road the road back up uh, northwards now towards Manastan North. Um, so we're going to come out of the Belay place and we're going to go left um, and head towards this this track here, which looks like it's going to be a good thing to have the um, 
and it's going to be a good thing to have uh, the snowmobile for actually but I am wondering where we're supposed to be able to get the ingredients for our uh, let's see the documents the ingredients for caribou where's the recipe for caribou we should have it in here somewhere there it is whiskey white whiskey and sherry wine and I've seen neither of these things so I don't know where we're gonna find those uh, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just look out for them on route I don't remember seeing them I've picked up pretty much everything that I can pick up thus far so so yeah we're gonna go out of here and then head towards the mountain trail and hopefully we won't suffer from the cold too much as we do so <coughs> I think there's a snowmobile sign there look yep a snowmobile sign next to the road and there's some wolf prints also does this mean we should follow them what is this right I'm just gonna have a look at this this is some sort of cairn with wolf prints leading from it I'm not sure what that means there are wolf prints on the other side as well going up in that direction but of course I know to that si right okay I have no idea where those wolf prints are going but for the moment because I don't have a coat I'm not going to follow them because we'll just end up being way too cold we've died of cold once we don't want to do it again so we will avoid that for the moment and we will just keep going oh there's a crashed car landslide okay looks like oh my goodness who's go off the road here because there's a car there's a suitcase they've obviously run off in that direction or something oh there's another cross the track was road. fresh that meant the car sunk down just a little while ago now where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone that way by the look of them right so. until that point Carl had believed that the object of this crossbow hunting had been a ravenous wolf who was terrorizing the village. Clearly not. But as he noticed the height at which the bolts had been fired, he concluded that the beast had to have been as tall as a man on his feet, not unlike a gorilla. The thought was chilling. There's not that much snow on top of this car either. Landslide. Oh gosh, so I think the road has disappeared There here. was only void where the road should be. Carl hated dead ends. Wow. He felt trapped. It was as if the road had drowned in the lake. He would have to find help by another road. Yes, and... What is this? Close. Oh, it will. Okay, so we are now going to perish if we're not careful. There's some more ice over there as well. I should perhaps take the snowmobile. No, I did not mean pick up the snowmobile because, yeah, we're going to get very cold here. So I'm going to drive this way. We've obviously got a suitcase and some wolf prints. There's some more ice. I'm going to just look at these things, actually. Yes, we know what that is. We've seen that before. I'm just going to take a look at this case someone must have dropped this in a hurry You're not but whoever did was heading into the woods Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in manual owner manual of forestier I can't quite see what it says Carl forestier okay okay right so it was a forester then right here we go Let's get out of here. Carl quick. wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. As long as it takes for us to get somewhere where it's not cold. That's how long. Right, we're following some wolf tracks. Oh, ice wall. Well, that sounds good. We're. Oh, Carl my goodness. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was going back to the realm of visions. Yeah, looks Carl like. Carl had it. no issue recognizing the spirit like figures, but he couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. The phantom, freed of reality's shackles, vanished in the forest. Earlier, Carl had witnessed a tragedy that befell it. 
Another phantom disappeared in the wilderness. Carl had seen what happened to it, too. Yes. A third phantom gently faded away. Carl noticed that as the cursed villagers finally left reality, he could feel a sense of unburdening exuding from them in an almost intimate way. Okay, so does that mean that we need to get this fourth person to disappear into this ice wall as well? I mean, I have no clue. Who is this fourth one? I'm not sure if we know who they are. Or what we're supposed to do now, in point of fact. Maybe we go back the other way. Carl sensed that the cold was beating a retreat. The more his senses came back to him. Okay, so, basically I think what we need to do is get that fourth ghost to disappear into the ice wall. And in order to do that, we're going to have to find who they are. We're going to find, have to find their story. And I'm not sure if we've found them just yet. But for the moment, what I'm going to do, because we're sort of going to die otherwise, we're going to have to go back to the Blay House, just because we know where it is, and get warmed up. Um, and, uh, yeah, as I say, I'm going to have to try and find a way around that, because the road is not going to allow us... And straight into it. Just having said that, I can control this better than the truck. Just disprove myself. It's apt to... I can still can't drive, I'm afraid. There we go. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to find some way around that because otherwise we're going nowhere and we're never going to be able to get to Hamilton's mansion or anywhere else. So, here we go. Let's defreeze ourselves whilst at the same time having a little look at the map. So, we went up to the landslide and, yes, it looks like there is a track... Uh, which goes past the ice wall and we need to open the ice wall in order to be able to get further through there so there must be one more person whose frozen form we have not yet found uh, and we need to unlock and it's entirely possible that we need to um, make our uh, make our moonshine and get the coat before we leave this area as well so the ice wall is a key basically as it's drawn on the map that we need to get past in order to access the rest of the map um, and it does look like the snowmobile is going to be the best, best way of doing that but I don't fancy that without the coat so we're going to have to look into that next time around, I think, um, so that we can get what we need. So I'm going to make a bit of a note of that to make sure we know uh, what we're doing next time, because I think that's going to have to be the order of events. And we're going to have to find out who that fourth spirit belongs to, uh, to see if we can unlock the wall of ice. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know. Also, feel free to leave me your comments. And any tips and hints you may have, uh, share your experiences if you've played this game as well. And I hope to see you in the next episode or in another video on the channel soon. Until then, keep gaming, stay happy, and bye-bye for now.